Oh, this is one of the most requested video reactions that I got. Folks, welcome to the channel and my Instagram was flooded with requests. Fernando, react to the woman in Chile that started shooting people. Okay, here we go. Folks, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Furfal308. The link is going to be there below. The link also for my books, Surviving the Economic Collapse and Street Survival Skills. Especially for street survival skills, we will see many of the things that I describe here in this book. You will see them in this video as well as some others that I'll explain as we go on. But let's start watching this thing and even though it's a few seconds, there's a lot to learn from it. Manifestando, la verdad no entendemos que... ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? No, 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 no. Porque, porque esta, esto está pasando en... All right, so this happened in Chile. We have carabineros. There it says... Cara, that's carabineros, that's like the local police, or it's more of a, of a militarized uh, police, but it's a, it's a, it's a kind of uh, local police in Chile or law enforcement uh, agency that is you know, pretty well trained in terms of, of, their, uh, of their officers. But we also have security people that are the ones detaining this woman, all right? And what we see here is that the security guard has what typically security guards in Latin America have, which is a revolver, right? So they're, they're detaining this woman for what, I mean, maybe she was shoplifting or whatever it is, but they were detaining this woman, carabineros show up, and the guard is, is, is restraining her. But she had other things in mind. She is, the guy say it's a pistol, no, that's clearly a revolver, right? That's clear. Look how he did not even realize that she, her hand was going for the gun. Six rounds, she fired all six rounds from that revolver. So let's start with the lessons here. Number one. Never, ever underestimate your opponent. Doesn't matter if it's a man, doesn't matter if it's a woman, small, big, old, young. It's here what makes the difference. If the person is using a gun or a knife or a car or any other means to hurt others, then you have to be careful. So don't underestimate anyone, right? That would be lesson number one. Lesson number two, always be aware of the hands of the opponent that you're dealing with, especially when you have a gun. Whenever you have a gun, there's gonna be a gun in the fight. Even if you're the one with a gun and the other person is unarmed, there's still a gun in the fight, yours. If the other uh, a person, an attacker, shows up with a gun, there's gonna be a gun in the fight, even if you are unarmed. That's why it's so important, I insist on this, learn how to use a gun even if you don't have one because you never know when that's gonna be in the equation it's been numerous incidents in which someone robbing a store or in, in a home a, a criminal with a gun just forgot about the gun and placed it somewhere and the the victim actually got hold of it and use it to defend themselves maybe you get control of that gun and you have to use it to defend yourself against other attackers in the situation you just never know so always know how to handle a gun at the very least the basics now my advice is always the same find yourself a qualified firearms instructor not just any clown which there's a lot of find yourself a qualified firearms instructor not by the nra by some but by the community find the reputation of that person i know of nra uh, certified nra firearms instructors that are they are shameful they don't know the first thing about guns self-defense or anything related to this at all so just being certified by nra means zero that's been my personal experience with some of these people and i've taken classes from uh, people all over the world with different instructors from different countries and the basics i do explain this here and i know that a lot of people don't have this training most people in fact in the united states don't have any kind of professional firearms training at all. Not even a basic beginner's class. That I do explain here. Again, it is a lot better if you find an actual instructor and show up to the class. But if not, this will really give you uh, the basics you need to know. So as to at least be somewhat safe when using a gun. Just buying a gun does not make you know how to use it. This is like buying a car and not how, knowing how to drive. 
you don't have to be a, a Formula One driver, but you need to pass the, the driver's test so as to be safe out there. The same applies to guns, all right? So <coughs> don't yeah. underestimate. And I, I, he, she wounded two people. Look how she was aiming for that guy. Look how she was... I'm pretty sure he got him in the leg. There, I'm sure she, she got him in the leg. Something, and she keeps on, she wants to hit that guy. She is determined to get that guy shot. Now, also important, something else that I explained in the book, something else, body armor. How great body armor is in keeping you alive in situations like these. So, around on the leg, that's no joke, but it's a lot better than getting shot in the torso. Body armor makes a difference. It, as I explained in my book, the revolver is fantastic for this. No empty chambers, no safeties that you forgot about. It's going to be just six rounds, but it's going to be six rounds that you can count on. Again, it is not um, more rugged or more simple than a semi-automatic pistol. The modern semi-automatic pistols used by all military and law enforcement all over the world have more capacity and are a lot more rugged. But the revolver is so simple in its manual of arms that even this woman that has no clue on how to use a gun, she just picks it up, starts pulling the trigger, and she will have those six rounds, the famous six for sure. Yeah, sure, if it's a, a 357 Magnum like that one over there, that's going to be a lot more power than in your 9mm. But besides that, it's just rounds and you know you can count on. And it's not the same with a semi-automatic pistol than someone that hasn't got the training so as to have the muscle memory to have an immediate reaction to any kind of interruption. That's going to be requiring a level of training that most people uh, simply do not have. Sometimes even with law enforcement, you notice that they just can just figure out in the heat of the moment uh, 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 a failure to feed or an interruption of some kind. It could be the slide hitting the body. Look at how close she is here. You know, the, the slide hitting the body of, of this security guard, that could have caused an interruption in a, in a pistol, not in a revolver. So, revolvers for people that are not exactly going to be spending a lot of time in training are a great option, no doubt whatsoever. So you see that here. And also, something else, how poorly she fired all rounds. How poorly these two guys performed. When she started shooting, dude, slam her head against the van, hard, knock her out cold. She's actively shooting. She's about to shoot the guy in the face with that gun. It is only by a miracle that she didn't kill someone and just wounded a couple of people. So, folks, that's, you know, the, the things I see here. Don't underestimate anyone. Always be aware of of where the hands are in terms of, of that gun that you have. And maybe finally, one of the biggest things I want you to keep in mind, don't fucking open carry. I know that's a, it's a trigger thing for a lot of people because it gets mixed with politics, but open carry is just a fucking awful idea. When you have something concealed, it's something that is out of the mind of everyone around you. If you have a gun that is visible, you're, you're, you're playing poker showing your fucking cards to everyone. Oh, these are my cards, but look how big my gun is. Look how great my cards are. No, keep that to yourself. Shut up. Don't give that upper hand, don't give that advantage to people that should not have it. When you have a firearm that's concealed, that's going to be in your advantage. They don't know about it. You do, but it, it's, it's not on them. They, know, they don't know about that possibility, that option that they can use against you maybe, right? So whenever possible, concealed carry is always better than open carry. You want to make a political statement? I think there's a ton of other things you can do just to be more politically active or involved or you know, or do your thing. But personally, from the objective perspective of someone that is looking to have the most possible advantage on your side, no. Concealed carry is always much better. Guys, it's going to be all for now. See you on the next video. Take care.